What's the new everybody? It is Sewell back here with another video. And today we're going to go back in time and look at the fifth race of the 1980 season, the Atlanta 500 at Atlanta International Raceway. Now to start things off, Buddy Baker was on the pole driving the number 28 Harry Rainier Oldsmobile. And he captured the pole with an average speed of 166 miles per hour. Joining him on the front row was Neil Bonnet. Now we're going to look at some footage from this race. I have not seen this one before, so... I'm looking forward to it, and I hope y'all are as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so here's the start of the race here. Wow, there are like five wide back there. <laughs> There's Buddy Baker on the lead. There's Neil Bonnet battling with Kel Yarbrough for second down the back stretch. We saw Benny Parsons up there battling for fifth. Man, I loved it. I love this Atlanta uh, configuration. I don't know why they ever got rid of it, but Atlanta's one of the most uh, historic tracks in NASCAR. Um, it was just very fun, it looked like, to race on. It's Donnie Allison all over Yarborough. <clears throat> Wow, good battle for the lead here. Saw Bobby Allison moving up. There's Dave Marcus in a 71. Wow, three wide for second. That was close. Jackie Stewart, I believe, is one of the announcers um, in this race. Kel Yarbrough, he was really good at Atlanta. I remember seeing some clips of him um, in the Wood Brothers car. And not only that, but him driving for Junior Johnson, as he was at this time, um, just leading a lot of laps at Atlanta. He was really good on the super speedways. Yeah, Baker fell off. I was wondering what happened to him. And there's Richard Petty up in third. Yeah, you see there's a big separation. And there's like two big packs. And then there's some other guys. I just see Dale Earnhardt going by. He started 31st. Man, this is some great racing. <clears throat> Looks like, yeah, it's a packed house, too. I love this camera angle, too, of the turn one shot. There's Neil Bonnet in the 21. Donnie Allison started fourth. He's here battling Kale Yarbrough. Remember, these two got together the 1979 Daytona 500. Oh. Yeah, look at the crowd. Hey, look how young Al Michaels looked. Dale Earnhardt, he worked his way up through the field. You know, as I said, he started 31st. He worked his way up through the field and uh, is currently leading the race. There is Jackie Stewart. I apologize if my camera's covering up any of the lettering. Oh, there's a video of a wreck. Oh, right in front of Kale Yarbrough, too. Big impact. See a tire bouncing down the track. Terry Labonte has moved up there. Reality now as he fights with Dale Yarborough for the lead. And the first turn they go around the 
this 1.522 mile oval at Atlanta. Waltrip is the leader. Yarborough is second. Donnie Allison in car number one running third. We'll be right back. A big development back here in Atlanta. Daryl Waltrip's car number Uh-oh, trouble for Daryl Waltrip. Yeah, that thing's smoking. Yep, he's coming to pit road. There's Dale Earnhardt moving up to third. There's another car slow down there. Is that Bill Elliott? Chris Akab, he's one of, the, one of the best reporters in NASCAR history and journalists. Yeah, you see, the cars are so much different than nowadays. So, Donnie Allison is still in the lead. And there's, uh, you see the dent on Kelly Yarbrough's car. Yeah, he's sliding up the track. Here comes Dale Earnhardt to the inside. Wow. <laughs> this is a good battle. Got four cars battling for a lead, almost three wide here. It's Terry Labonte in the 44. Uh oh. Oh, there's contact. And around they go. Uh, Labonte just got into him too hard. You, these cars, you can't hit each other in the corners at all. Or the straightaways, mostly, for a matter of fact. And yeah, just too much contact. Here's a replay. Yeah, just got his back over. <clears throat> I believe this was Labonte's like either I believe this was Labonte's second or third year in the Cup Series. And here's some pit stops. So there's Bobby Allison out for I want I don't know if he's leading or not at the moment. But there's Kel Yarbrough and Dale Hart battling each other. Kale Yarbrough's led most of this race, but a lot of a lot of lead changes. It's been pretty entertaining. Oh, that was close. Well, son must. Yep, son's definitely wrong with Yarbrough's car. He just lost a lot of ground and he just cut to the inside. Well, that takes him out of contention, I believe. We've had guys like, you know, Benny Parsons went out earlier with clutch problems. You know, Richard Petty's been out with engine trouble. Um, Darrell Waltrip went out. Donnie Allison is basically out of the race. And, and as y'all know, or as some of y'all should know, um, Kelly Yarbrough and Dale Hart bowed for the championship in the 1980 season. Yep, Dale Hart's pulling away there from Bobby Allison. So we're here in the final laps, and Dale Hart is pulled away. All he's got to do is make it around a couple more times. Yep, white flag here. There's Rusty Wallace in second. This is his first NASCAR start, by the way. 
He was driving the 16 for Roger Pansky. Dave Marcus, he was strong early in the race, then he kind of fell back, but he's uh, the first car lap down in fourth. Bobby Allison's the in third, last car in the lead lap. Well, that was a very interesting race. I thought it was very entertaining. Let me know what y'all think. Dale Earnhardt, as you saw in the video, captured his second career NASCAR victory. He had started 31st and worked his way up through the field, and he ended up leading 50 laps total in the race. Rusty Wallace, in his first NASCAR start, as y'all saw, finished second. Very impressive. He finished nine seconds behind Dale Earnhardt. And as you can see in the footage, and as y'all have known from Atlanta races back in the day, it was an endurance race, 500 miles. This race lasted 3 hours and 42 minutes. And you know that that's a lot of wear and tear on the cars. As you saw, guys like Daryl Waltrip, Neil Bonnet, Donnie Allison, Daryl Waltrip, Richard Petty, guys like that that were contenders to win ended up dropping out after 100 laps or so. Kel Yarbrough ended up finishing 8th, 4 laps down. He led a race high 183 of 328 laps. There's a total of 27 lead changes and 7 cautions, and the average speed was 134 miles per hour. So on the screen, you'll see some notables, some drivers that went out earlier in the race, and you'll also see the rest of the top 10. Well, that's going to do it for the video. I hope y'all enjoyed, and if you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching, and until next time, I'm out. Peace.